all this talk about the video, the footage they got. You know, they got O Block inside of O Block. They had, you know, Muaf got a phone call, and you can see them running down to the cars and all kind of shit before they blah, 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 blah on FBG Dump, where the feds released more paperwork. And that's not all the way true. You know, we was under the impression that the feds got surveillance footage that them running down O Block. We gonna talk about that. Hit the like button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know, I think you gotta hit the like button. It help with the algorithms. We need at least 2,000 likes. When you do that, it take all the fake videos and push them down. All the real videos, the true videos, the news that's real legit goes to the top. So it help with the algorithms. I think Duck is a legend. So I think everybody needs to get this video because there's a lot of rumors about what happened to Duck. You know, this crazy. The feds been talking about having these surveillance footage, these POD readers, license plate readers. Well, that might be true. But when it comes to the surveillance footage inside of O Block and guys running to the cars, guys inside that got a phone call about Duck being there, um, it says it was all these guys and they clearly got the photo. Well, according to the paperwork, the paperwork says different. The paperwork says that those videos ain't the type of videos that we all think they are. First off, it says that the cameras by Parkway is so far back that it barely can see anything, you know? The cameras are far back so it can barely uh, make out any facial characteristics or anything like that. So I guess it was hard to see what it was. And then they also said it was dark. You know, the cameras are very dark. Uh, so probably look like this right here, that's real dark. Yeah, you see figures, but you don't exactly know who that is. As crazy as that. Then it also speaks about the video that we all that heard about, about these guys were in like the hallway when TZ called them and they running and shit. You can see them running, going back and forth and shit like that. Well, according to the video, it was hard to make out Muwap face to see if that was Muwap who was in that hallway, if that was Muwap who got a phone call, if that was Muwap who ran away. You know, so these videos don't really show a lot. I think that's what C Murder was saying. Cause in the paperwork it say C Murder called all the homies and told them to get rid of their phones, buy new phones, and the videos that they got, uh, it ain't really nothing, you know? So, you know, that's crazy because according to the paperwork, these videos are dark as hell. They grainy, it's hard to make out who it was. They even had to ask people who these people were. They say they asked Butter, FBG Butter. And he didn't know who they were. He didn't know exactly who these people is. And the only way he know Muwap is through a rap video. That's what the feds say. Then they asked, uh, they asked Trench's News. It actually says Trenchard News is a paid informant. You know, we've been talking about Trenchard News, but in this paperwork, it says he's a paid informant. Um, they said that he met Muwap once. It's a security guard that used to work at Old Block that's cooperating with this case, too. He's giving out information. I'm not saying he's giving it out because he wants to. Maybe the feds on his ass and asking them questions about this shit. But, yeah, it's a guy giving out information. Man, it's crazy. This shit is going on by the day, and I've been telling people this. So, you know, I'm going to keep you updated on this. But it seems like the feds don't got as much as we think they got. Don't get me wrong. It feels like it's more people cooperating, you know, cooperators and shit like that. That's kind of giving them this evidence, you know. It feels like they put pressure on that whole block community. Put pressures on these guys' baby mamas and all kind of shit to the point where people had to tell the information. Because looking at this, don't really look like they got as much. The videos they claiming don't show their faces real good. Very grainy, very dark. They ain't got no murder weapons or none of this shit. So it just, just had to be a clearly people telling. And it also says it was a seven suspect. I know people don't want to hear this. I actually had a chance to speak to his brother. But they claiming Zell Munner was the seven suspect in this case. But unfortunately, he killed himself or lost his life due to a self-inflicted wound is what the feds say. But I wanted to bring to your attention. It say Muwa. It's hard to make out that that was him in the video because the video is so dark and grainy. So is that a win for Muwap or if it's not? Do they got more evidence where they don't really need that?